Well, folks, uh, <clears throat> this is going to be a, this is a makeup episode. We recorded one already, but uh, Stav was sick with morbid obesity. Yep, <laughs> it was really cool to drive here sick and not <laughs> release the episode. <laughs> yeah, well, it was a bad one. So, you know, uh, I said some things that may be construed as problematic on that one. <laughs> yeah, I did the entire episode in the German language. And that's by just, Nick's standards, by yeah. the way. <laughs> so imagine. <laughs> Nick had Wagner playing in the back. Yeah, right, honestly. The honestly oh, look, uh, w- here's what happens. You back me into a corner, <laughs> true colors come out. I'm going full alt-right, baby. And guys, if we go up. are black, white, and red. You were right about me. <laughs> if we go up, the next, in the Patreon goes up five grand in the next mm-hmm. couple weeks, we'll release the problematic yeah. shit Nick didn't want to say. Yeah, let's get that. Yeah. So, <laughs> the truth is, you, you've been right the whole time. I'm secretly alt-right. But I choose to instead be a guy that <laughs> denies being alt-right so he can be criticized constantly. <laughs> <by> <laughs> <laughs> by uh, everyone demanding that people stop being friends with him. Yep. Uh that's the next because that's you know what? It's harder and I like a challenge. <laughs> I'm like a Tony Robbins type. <laughs> yes. You know? I inspire people by I I said, "You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to be the most racist guy on the left." Yes. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not like the Joker, like Batman. Uh, that's what Batman uh, is. Is he? Yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Sure. I, <laughs> didn't we already do a whole episode on what yeah, is Batman? How he's, yeah. How he's gay? You know how many uh, shitty comics, yeah. shitty comics yeah, do the take. like, his power is that he's rich? Like everybody yeah, yeah, has yeah. that fucking joke yeah. and it's like, I'm pretty sure they acknowledge that in Batman. That's the point of Batman. That's not, yeah, yeah right. You're not... You're not coming up with a bit about Batman. Yeah. You're saying a line from the movie yeah, his, Batman. Yeah, his power is that he's an alien and yeah. our son gives him superpowers. Well, we're supposed <laughs> to believe that? <laughs> <laughs> so you're telling me. Yeah. Although a lot of people do have the bit, which is it is kind of funny. It's just like, couldn't you just have like put the money in the schools, Batman? You know, like, couldn't yeah. you just fucking... He's probably better ways to... S- well, he didn't go to school. He grew up in an orphanage. No, but what I'm saying... Yeah. Batman? Yeah, didn't no, he? No, he grew no, up... Alfred, Alfred raised him, dude. He grew up in fuck, Wayne dude? Manor. They've rebooted this shit. Uh, didn't you watch Batman Begins? It's about actually, him beginning. Actually, I didn't really. I remember the first episode. No, no. Which what? was pretty dark. No, no, the, no. That's, that movie. that's the series, the animated series. Oh, Batman about. Begins. Batman You're Begins. thinking Batman 2000. Thinking so Batman, Batman starts. Yeah, so Batman's Batman. like a teenager. He's angsty. His parents are dead. Then he goes to... Uh, Asia and he gets a happy ending massage from Ra's al Ghul and he oh shit and then he uh, yeah and then he learns martial arts and then he comes back and s- to save Goth- Gotham so, uh, but is Ra's al Ghul well he's like a Muslim right he's a Muslim ghost no he's it's chi- a, a Chinese it's a white Chinese guy no no is no. what's the what's the Chinese Muslims it's leaders Liam, Liam it's, I know it's Liam Neeson Uyghurs I think he's a Uyghur. Yeah. Oh, that. No, I think that it's thing like I <laughs> told you about last month. Yeah. Yeah. The Uyghurs? Yes, bitch. That's how fucking knowledge works. You get it, and then you. And say then you it. say it to other people and pretend you already knew it. You don't say it back to the guy that. No, told you. you asked what he was, and I think he the piece of knowledge you is. gave me. A, Homework class. A pre, a, you know it. I fucking teach you things, and you go repeat. Yeah, it. and, that's I, say, that's and all, I say it. In that's context. how education is. Is like if you say anything you've learned, you're copying the teacher. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. That's how I like, always approach school. Teacher's like, shut up, bitch. Shut up, bitch. Oh, where'd you learn that fucking F formula? And then you slap the child. Yeah, yeah. Come up with your own shit. That's my move. Where I'm an inner city school teacher and it's called Stand and Call the Kids Gay. <laughs> Stand and deliver Stand a and sweet diss deliver. track directly to Lamar's face. Yeah. Oh, you think you can read, bitch? <laughs> the, yeah. guy, the guy that tries and to like, like, no. teach inner city kids, but he like completely overshoots the mark and just destroys any confidence they have. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta break Oh, what? You think them, you're though. hard? You're a fucking retard. You'll never <laughs> learn any of this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to read the book, sir. <laughs> Shut up. Book confiscated. <laughs> this world's hard. Here's a gun. And I'm going to make it harder because I have acne scars and I somehow have a career in Hollywood. It's a dig That's on That's true. You. Edward Eddie? James almost. Is it Eddie from J? acne or from some sort of congenital? No, it's from acne. Defect. He's ugly like you. Yeah, like you. I do have scars from acne. So is Alonzo Ball. He's ugly too. So do a lot of famous people. It's weird that Stav didn't have acne. I have beautiful skin. You didn't have acne. It's weird. And I've ruined it. I feel like you've if if you have like that much going wrong, you know? It feels uh, like the acne is not that is, much going wrong. The acne is like completing the look. No. 
I think I've got a lot going for me. No, not know, really. Body wise, <laughs> I won't allow you to take my beauty from me. Why? I'm in my stand and deliver character. Nope. Now. Sorry, dude. I'm a big, beautiful. I'm a plus size cutie, and it's my time to shine in the yeah. fall. Yeah. Well, go to the principal's office and take the wide hallway because everyone knows you need it. <laughs> take don't the get, service hallway. Don't get, don't get your fucking fat ass stuck <laughs> in the little hallway again. But there's treats in the little hallway. You know how much butter the cafeteria lady had to use to unwedge your fat ass from the skinny hallway? That's Last why my skin is so good, dude. <laughs> just butter butter baths. From being, yeah, you have good skin from being unwedged. <laughs> All the fucking cocoa butter. and. <laughs> wow, you have such soft skin. Yeah, I get stuck a lot. I get lot. stuck in small spaces got, yeah. a lot. One time I, I, I thought the elevator was there, but it was out of service. So I just walked into the shaft and I got wedged three yep. floors below. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they had to just pour buckets and buckets of fucking <laughs> movie of butter. olive oil down there. Yeah. <laughs> just pump olive oil down there <laughs> until uh, you know I slid out the bottom like a fucking hungover turd and all the oil was absorbed by my skin <laughs> not a, not a drop hit the ground yeah have you yeah, ever sometimes used a, um, a food as a sex lube? lubricant no people have said coconut oil works yeah have you ever girl, used food as a social a one lube? girl used to make me every, use t- every day of my oil. life. Yeah. Made you use coconut oil? Yeah, she she said that she like she put you it know on what she that happened was she from the islands. She was not from the <laughs> she islands. She Car- Caribbean. No, was she the lobster from Little Mermaid? Yeah. Did you fuck it, Sebastian? Sebastian. Sebastian. Yeah. Did he rip your dick off with his Come claws? Come on and let me suck on your penis. Adam, I know that the you are gay. That was one of my. F- Did he sing that to you? Favorite songs. When I was a Please kid. give me head. Ah, that's lame. I didn't have any Please favorite give songs me as a head. kid because I thought songs were fucking lame. <laughs> you didn't like any songs? <laughs> no, nah, I hate songs. No, nah, you liked Mastodon and Puddle of Mud. Yeah, when I was a four year old boy, my favorite band. <laughs> <laughs> Butt Rock. Yeah, fucking Guar. <laughs> when I'm in kindergarten. Uh, <clears throat> what did I like as a child? Yeah, I I definitely had a fucking big Spice Girls phase. I liked really La Bamba. The Chuck E. Cheese band. I was actually. Imagine I literally was. Two, two slices of pizza in each hand cheering on the <laughs> Bro, Chuck E. Cheese yes. band. Bro, yes. What's <laughs> wrong with that? That's joy. Yeah, That's childlike joy. <laughs> I'm sorry I had a, an okay childhood the despite poverty. The bear. <laughs> yeah. Don't take my fleeting good moments of my childhood away from me, dude. I will not accept mockery for that shit. Mm-hmm. I love that shit. I was happy as fuck every time I was in a Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah. So lounging up in the, in the tunnels. Slide. I did not get stuck. <laughs> I did not. Although one time, I think I've talked about this, I did get too scared to go down a big pole at Discovery Zone. And my dad had to walk me back out the other way. Oh, really? It was very scary, yeah. I loved Discovery I was, Zone. I was, I was following a cool older kid. I used to love getting met. into fights with kids inside there where yep. the parents couldn't Checks intervene. Out. Yeah. <laughs> Checks out. Because we're protected <laughs> by tubes. It's like Lord of the <laughs> Flies Beat the in fuck there. out yeah. of some yeah. kid. That was the internet, dude. Yeah. You were I used to have a recurring dream about like being in a ball pit and then not being able to get to the top. I dreamed about a like, society in a ball pit. Oh, you all know? society. Yeah, dude. Like oh. recess. We're coming back to recess. That's kind of that was in the days where my mom would take when we were good. She would take us to the fancy McDonald's. You just okay. want to have. You showed me the fancy. I showed you the fancy. You just want to have like a fan. roll. That's what you want. Huh? Right? That like was the roll. Dundalk McDonald's, right? It's no. got like a four. No, that was another one. Uh, you know what? I didn't take you to that one. My McDonald's was so bootleg. It was in it was in the shopping center by Santoni's Market. For anybody, for anyone familiar, uh, it was such a bootleg s- s- McDonald's. It served pizza and spaghetti. Like it was one of those <laughs> like McDonald's cake? that just yeah. did. But they had the most hooked up playpen of all fucking time, bro. Like it looked like a Chuck E. Cheese out that motherfucker. Oh yeah, and when we were just regular good, we got Popeyes. When we were real, when she really wanted it, we got to fucking play in the fucking. When Venetia was really happy with our conduct, uh-huh. we got to go to the big ass McDonald's, dude. Damn though, that Popeyes after fucking the library. That's why. Mm-hmm. That's why I love reading now. <laughs> I love reading. Oh, uh, treats. I guess we should also mention we are going to rescind our shout out to Shane. Oh yeah, that was but, tough time. But only the pedophile part. The trans part still gets the shout <laughs> yes, out. Yes, yes, we yes. We support <laughs> the transition. Yes. <laughs> yep. And, and you the know, video I, is look, still we funny. Should, we should be. It is still funny. Yeah. And we should be honest. We should have known better. Than thinking we have a trans fan. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> That's on us. A hundred percent. But it we is. don't have a lot of fans, and I'd say trans pedophile, it's like a starter home. <laughs> you know, you gotta start somewhere. I will take <laughs> trans pedophile tra- fan, right? Yes. Maybe five, ten years from now, I'll get an Asian lady that likes screaming online. Ab- I think you so. Know? I think that's and well within. In ten years, a real trans person. Yes. Well, real 
but doesn't beat off the kids. You mean? Yeah. Right. Yes. Mm-hmm. So a full the full featured one. Yes. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, you know, you know, kind of a tough. Uh, <laughs> that was tough, but also you know, the timing wise is just that shout out coming out when we pre recorded. We did the record. I thought, I mean, Monday. that that couldn't be funnier. Of course, it's that's it's that's so hilarious. us guys. Yeah. That is, I mean, so yeah. Us. <laughs> if anyone's gonna have a trend, yeah. and it turns out, well, I was like, I like that, like. Ch- <laughs> <laughs> Chapo and Josh accidentally made like sort of like a, well I guess I don't know if the time it works out that they accidentally do a rape joke on like rape week you know yeah, with the yeah. Bill Cosby right. thing and it wasn't then, a rape and joke. then it's like yeah. you know oh man like what bad luck for them and then it's like watch this yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hold my like, this is gonna be we're just, doing lunges. <laughs> we're just doing lunges <laughs> we're just right. doing hold my can filled with child porn <laughs> <laughs> I got this. <laughs> It comes in cans. A lot of people don't know that. <laughs> yep, they can't track yeah, it. Shane explained it to me. I thought you downloaded it. No, it comes in six packs. It's one of those like the mail thing, which like those like yeah, uh, yeah. Those, pneumatic those tubes. tubes. The pneumatic tubes. The yeah. only people using those anymore are beat well, guys yeah, that beat off the, the kids. The pedophile scene is extremely steampunk. <laughs> <laughs> I really love. They get it delivered by hot air balloon. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, that was a part of Kill Bill. I rewatched Kill Bill recently. You know what? Might be my favorite movie. I love Kill, Kill Bill? Bill so much. Like um, it, one or two. One. It's all one movie. It's basically. all one movie. Yeah. I thought your favorite movies were the McDonald's VHS tapes that they used to give out with Happy Meals. They used to give out VHS tapes. I I, I never witnessed them, but I knew that was a thing that you could get. I McDonald's never heard about tapes. that. Yeah. I'm sad that I didn't know that. I remember the commercials for a McDonald's movie. Ooh, also shout out to the oh, yeah. the McDonald's East, at East Point Mall. That was another good one. Right next to Aladdin's. <laughs> These are the McDonald's of, of my Jobs youth. Life. <laughs> Yo, I used to love that McDonald's. Right. And it was right across the, right across from the Brass Hen, a Chinese place that sold very good fried chicken. Brass Hen's still there, still kicking. Me and my brother George had some recently. They really know how to fry up They a really piece know of how chicken. to fry up some bird. <laughs> Over there at the Brass Hen. Um, <coughs> Chinese fried chicken. Now, there's a delicacy. That's good, because they it's all, it's all in those fucked up Chinese oils that has a bunch of other shit in there, like egg rolls and shrimp toast. I went to one of those places the other day. Their wings are the best. When they nail a wing, they nail it, baby. I went to one of those Chinese food sub uh, Philly cheesesteak oh. fried chicken. Oh. You know. I love it. You know, every, basically every kind of yes. food place. Yeah, in bedside. On the way back from Walgreens, it makes. I, I had it. a. It was actually before we shot the sketch, and I had a, <laughs> I had a shopping bag full of diapers. <laughs> 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 I went in there with a, with a Walgreens bag full of adult diapers. Damn. Yeah. Anyway, if you have those VHS McDonald's, let me know. Also, if you have the Kyrie. Mamba mentality shoes in a thirteen. <laughs> the yellow. And the black. yellow ones. But you don't like Kobe. I don't like Kobe, but what I say I love Kill Bill, I'm kind of thinking about being Uma Thurman from Kill Bill for Halloween. I do have those um, Asics I have. Are but you have Kill little Bills. feet. No, I'm just saying the Asics. I know. I have little, and maybe I'll look little. up. They're normal size. You have little ass feet. What, maybe they're I'll look those size. up. Maybe I'll buy those. We'll be twi- shoe twins. Yeah, you should. they're pretty tight. Um, anyway, what, uh, what else is going on? What did you I bought. I bought a... I was in Los Angeles. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. How was this? Bought, uh, How it was, was good. It? Yeah, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. I uh, I got finally got one of those Gold's Gym, but like the blue racer tanks. We saw those. You sent, it, you sent it to us immediately because you're so proud of how you yeah. looked in it. Yeah. No, I, was, I mean, yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. You look, yeah. I was, so, some, when I'm not fucking disgustingly fat anymore and I'm, <laughs> I'm finally like worth maybe looking at without shielding your eyes. <laughs> At the sight of <laughs> oh, I get this. My hideous body. I get. I get why you're. This is all. This is all your stuff. That's why you mock me. Why you mock of me, a beautiful plus size man? Of course it is. Because yeah, because I can hate see, yourself. See my reflection in your glistening bald head. <laughs> One of the and things I that I think makes <laughs> our show all the all the oil leaking out of your fucking <laughs> First stomach. Of all, it's, like, yeah, steaming I have, up under your face. I have your body. Hate I have a beautiful steams. amount of natural oils. My <laughs> yeah. skin is soft to the touch. Right. You, you're, you're, your shit is grainy and fucked up. You never get sick because your fucking fat stomach heats your sweat like Theraflu. Exactly. And you just inhale. These are own. all positives. You keep trying to make negatives, and I will not accept them. You're gay, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So, so I'm like, look, you're not wrong about that one either. <clears throat> yeah, but you're ugly. 
And you both have bad skin? Yeah. I don't know. My skin's okay now. So Racine's right. talking about going and getting a cabin upstate. Maybe he was sh- saying before Thanksgiving. Shoots, <laughs> shoot some guns and shit. But I have know? to Before Thanksgiving's to tough Vegas, timing, though, because yeah. we're all going to probably leave. Well, I am. I'm going to go home. I'm going home, too. Yeah. I would go at a different time, though. I'd love to hit a cabin up, dude. Yeah. Get in the wilderness. Mm-hmm. Commit some. Never mind. Yeah, I'm trying to shoot. You know, some lambs, maybe some pigs, maybe Holy a duck. Fuck. Mm-hmm. Dude, yo, slow roast a fucking lamb. Dude, fucking. But oh is my lamb God, one of those sniper you have to have black, fresh, black, or black. Is it one of those you need nah. to age? No, nah, you can get that shit fresh. Like cow, you need to age. <clears throat> Bro, right? let's get a lamb and eat. Yeah, a cook steak that shit. is tough if you cook it right then and there. Okay, Chicken, you need fresh. Dude, let's get a yeah. lamb and fucking slow roast it Easter style. Holy on fuck. On a spit? On a spit. I just got stiff as hell. Lamb. We'll get wonder, George in the mix. I lobster he knows would how to taste do that? good raw. You know, you eat it alive. Probably. Because it tastes... You got to cook it immediately. Yeah. It you know. probably tastes good live. Yeah. Uh, yeah, why not? You got to cook it. Oh, uh, sushi. What the fuck is sushi? Yeah, yeah but sushi, sushi is... C- scallops taste good sushi. Yeah, sushi's, sushi's frozen. It's not fresh. They freeze the the fish immediately, and it but stays bet, frozen for like I, a week. But I bet if you ate that shit fresh, it would taste good as hell. Fresh fish? Yeah. I don't know. I don't <laughs> know. <Can we> go? <laughs> fresh fish, that's like a fucking universally wanted thing. Can we go on it's a, got parasites Japan, no. a Japan tour? I, I would fucking love to. I want to go. Let's do it. Do Let's just set up one there? show in Japan, lose money on it. It's a business expense. Yeah, we'll write no, it I'm all telling sushi. you, what I'm going to do is when I get... <clears throat> when I use Gran Turismo to become an international race driver, <laughs> yeah, yeah, they put an $800. Next new thing is becoming. I'll, a I'll get Formula sponsored one by Japan for racing. Hell the yeah. whole they'll country. Br- they'll bring me there, and then you guys can come with in the back of the race car. I would love that. I would absolutely love that. You know, stop weighing down the back. Yeah, that's your real test to get extra traction. <laughs> can you win with me in the back? That, that would probably help. Would it? Yeah, you have added traction. Oh, I know, because you're doing all that Tokyo drift. In Japan, all the racing is drifting. That's it's right. It's all drift. You the only way race. to get into Japan is to cause $2 million worth of property damage <laughs> and have the judge sentence you to living in an exotic country. <laughs> what a With great your movie. Navy or Marine dad. <clears throat> yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I think that it would just be really cool to go there and then go to that fish market in Tokyo. Oh, we're from Jiro Dreams of Sushi? Yeah, yeah. One of my favorite uh, Norm MacDonald jokes is like, so it was like the sequel didn't do so well. Jiro Nightmares of Ass Rape. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's for when he like makes people read. Yeah, but. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> my favorite one for that segment is where he's like, they say uh, pimping uh, ain't easy. Uh it's certainly a lot easier than being a common street whore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shouts out to Norm. He's the best. Yeah, although I don't agree with the logic of that joke. Which one? A pimp has to do a lot more work than a prostitute. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. It's what? easier to fucking do a little logistics than to get dicked down by strangers. Right, exactly. Ladies and gentlemen, they're, they're accountants, is they're over. managers, you know? <laughs> no, I, talent agents. I think that's harder than get than receiving pipe from ugly motherfuckers. Yeah. yeah like you know? I would rather do the accounting. Eight to 12 <laughs> dicks a night. Yeah. yeah. You got to yeah, jerk Adam's in. the only one with real personal experience with the biz. Yeah. yeah tell us true. Yeah. Let us know okay, what you think about I, it. So who's, who has it worse, the pimp or your victims? I will say. <laughs> no, I thought you were going the other way <laughs> with that. No, no, uh, he wasn't. The th- well, he he went with a thing that actually makes you uncomfortable instead of a joke. Yeah. I had a couple <laughs> weeks out on the street. At a certain <clears throat> putting that boy pussy life, on the stroll. Putting it on the stroll. And uh, I have tremendous respect for... Hey, man, these fucking recorders weren't free, you know? Yeah, it's true. We had to fundraise some We someway. needed some startup capital for the podcast. Mm-hmm. and uh, Suck for it, Adam. We had a meeting, the three of us, and it seemed like that was the yeah. only idea we <laughs> yeah. had. Yeah, Adam used to suck off guys in the bathroom at LaGuardia, and it was... Yeah. Actually, he operated at a loss because you have to buy a boarding pass <laughs> yeah. to, get to get to the bathroom. It's true. So, I had so to he was spending I had to thousands of dollars yep. a week on yeah. unused airfare mm-hmm. so he could go in the bathroom and suck off Korean businessmen. That's right. But... He, he, you got a lot of points on your Delta I rewards did get, card. Yeah, it's all about miles. That's right. That's right. I've been told. <laughs> yeah. I was honestly, about getting I haven't a seen any of those miles. What? I was thinking about getting a mortgage for Why? a house. 
No, just to have them, you know, just to get. You can just get a mortgage. Yeah, just get seven hundred thousand dollars from the bank and then just pay it off, and then the house could be all the shit I buy with the money. Oh, interesting. Is that you can is do that? that? No, no, of course not. No, <laughs> <laughs> that's just a loan. What you're talking about? Yeah, well, and it's also an unsecured loan, whereas a mortgage mm. has. There's a house. I'm surprised you thought that was real, Adam. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Why? I'm not good at money. Oh boy. I'm not. Oh, here we go. Uh huh. Yep. This that is the, one. This is where that this is, is one, playing possum. This is that is possum. one stereotype that I'm, I'm not good. That I might where lose I, it. I, that, that I do not hold up to. You're uh, good with money, dude. Not at all. Yeah, you just have a lot of loans because you're a fucking idiot. Cause you went to GW From college. Yeah. I'm but like no, me, loan that's not free. even it. That's <clears> not even bad. With that's not what makes me bad at money. What makes me bad at money is I I looked at Gucci loafers on the internet for How much? six hours this week. How much? I want Gucci loafers. They're like four hundred dollars. That's doable, man. Honestly, it's <laughs> a classic <laughs> style. Riding they around never town, go out of style. Riding around town with some Gucci the, loafers. You have those for your entire life. Fuck the classic some, horse. I gotta get some Nike sweats. Yeah, uh, I'm thinking yeah. about really investing in some sweatsuits for the winter. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna wear a lot of crew necks. You should get a wetsuit actually. You know, that way you, you can stay moist, which you need to live. A wetsuit. <laughs> no, yeah. you're thinking of Those a whale. Those actually do keep and then, you warm, and then, too. And then we can clear out your blowhole with, a, you know, like a little stick or something. You're actually thinking of an aquatic Nick, whale. If you, if I'm a man who happens to be a little larger than normal, uh -huh. but still loves his curves. That's true. And could you know what? Shouts out to all the women out there who also love a man with a little extra, you know? Actually, for me, shout out to all the women. Out there, not nope. even the ones who don't. No, nope. I'm only yeah. shouting out. Not the even ones the ones that, like, who are disgusted man. by the. Thought no, no. In fact, <laughs> having anti sex shout out to you who are disgusted. <laughs> no, I think all of because them. you're against body positivity. Uh, so don't like Ashley Graham's pictures if you're not going to jerk me off. <laughs> That's my stance. <laughs> <laughs> Be a real ally. <laughs> Uh, that's anyone, a good take. Anyone can like an Ashley Graham. Write that article and watch people fucking struggle to figure out how yeah, to Yeah, I'm about it. to, dude. I'm <laughs> literally going to do it and see what they say. <laughs> Amber, can I do that on one of the magazines you work for? Yeah. Yeah. Jocko I want to do a thing that says, like, uh, you want to be a real body positive ally? Stop liking Ashley Graham's pictures and have sex with a fat man. Huh? Thank Actually, you. I had a pitch. You heard I, here first. I put a pitch into Jocko Bean, and it uh -huh, was accepted. Jocko Bean. What it's called? How to say words stupid to impress yep. people and and make them think you have a personality. Have you not seen Zoolander? Jocko Bean Mugatu. Oh, nice. <laughs> it's a. It's a. Oh, you're doing the homonym. Thing. No, that's the way that you say. Uh, Wait, you did you pitch? That word. Did you pitch Mugatu? Is that what this bit is about? No, I pitched a new article for Jacobin, and it was accepted. What was it? It's on why fat asses are more popular than big ass titties, and if big ass titties are gonna. I'm ever pitching be an article to Jacobin. Oh, I would love to take the the opposite approach. Called let's we do a need debate. To, we need you to have a debate series for Jacobin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> titties v <laughs> asses on Jacobin. <laughs> the DSA Jacobin magazine <laughs> and that girl that's mad at us on the internet present. Yo, what is more fucking socialist working class than a big fat pair of fucking working class <laughs> meaty titties? You tell me. And yeah. all the old fucking pictures and shit, women yeah. in the fields working it's hard. true. They got big swinging my titties. My the mother, women that in used fact, to have to breastfeed all of the radio operators. It's true. Yes, exactly back right. Back when New York was RC controlled back <laughs> in the 40s. A lot of people don't know that. It used to all be vacuum tubes and RCs. Yes. Yeah. So, you know, there was mm -hmm. airships yeah. in the air. You pulled your pants all the way up to your neck. Mm. You know? Mm. You get your, lunch, <laughs> get your lunch in an automat. <laughs> Absolutely. There was 800 murders a day per block. Wow. All unsolved. Classic New York. Classic. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Actually, if you've never seen uh, The Naked City, it's a, a movie shot entirely in New York City. And it's pretty cool to see old Is New everyone York. naked? Uh, yes, actually. Nice. It's a completely nude movie. No, it's about a murder and these guys that have to solve it, but there's shots of, uh, the Williamsburg Bridge used to have this, like, uh, trolley terminal, mm. and then the walkway oh, extended whoa. out further, so that, like, structure cool. that's, like, leads In up. In the middle? On the no, on the Didn't Manhattan side of the, uh, 
I probably pointed it out when we were riding bikes around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love all that shit, dude. Oh, me too. I yeah. love New York history. Yeah. I really do. I feel like everyone does, and I feel like that's my most basic bitch shit. Everyone likes to look at old New York, but I fucking love it. Dude. I have a really good uh, book if you that my friend's dad gave me when I moved here. Hell yeah, Called dude. Dog Communist man. Propaganda with big ass titties. Communist Yo, propaganda. Yo, I, th- I got something here. Let's co-author something, Amber. Amber, come on. Let's co-author something. Yeah, hell yeah, yeah. published author. Bitch. There's nothing more working class <laughs> than a pair of like my mom's left tit was a teamster, and mm-hmm. her right tit was uh, a United. I'm auto serious, workers. man, about this. This is a, you know what? Let's not joke. Some things are are too important to joke about, and this is one of them. Um, <coughs> sure. Anyway, old New York and shit. What were we talking about? Yeah. Well, my favorite thing that I learned about. Uh, also, there's a not Ken Burns, but his brother. What's Rick his name? Burns. Rick Burns does a good. Not to be confused with Mr. Burns from the. <laughs> <laughs> does a the like third a, brother. Thanks, New everybody. York one. That's good. Um, but yeah, you know what's really Smithers. cool to learn about is right. Pe- what? Yep. Smithers. 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 You better not Smithers. be gay. But yeah, I do. you're not allowed to be gay in my power plant, Smithers. <laughs> Classic Mr. Burns line. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, Mr. I'm Burns. Not, I'm not with the gay shit, Smithers. Yeah. Mr. Burns, are you my boss? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Everybody remembers that episode. Yeah. yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. He presses the button and the dogs come out. Are yeah. there any. Because Smithers is gay, because they smell a gay guy. And the yep. dogs go crazy yep. when they smell mm-hmm. a gay guy. Yep. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Don't tell me. I've never seen The Simpsons. It's a, the new guy character is a southern guy that's pretending like he's seen The Simpsons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the sim- oh, of course. <laughs> yes, sir. They're, yeah, you got B- Bard and, and Marge, uh, Marsha and... <laughs> Yep, I've seen every episode of that show. Oh, by the way, fuck Oh, Cranky the Clown. Cranky. Every yep. single one of them said, Ack, 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 Bart. <laughs> me, your father. Cranky the Clown. <laughs> of course I've seen The Simpsons. <laughs> Shoot. Please Excuse don't me. kick me out of the KKK meeting. <laughs> <laughs> if you want This be- man ain't seen The Simpsons. He's not seen The Simpsons. <laughs> <laughs> Who was the good one, Lenny oh, or Carl? That's what is that the, smell? Are you drinking test? children's cough syrup? Yo, it smells what like Dimetap. I think that's hairspray. I think it's Amber's oh. hairspray. Yo, shout out to Dimetap, the most uh, delicious. Here's the some, most here's delicious some dirt on syrup. Amber if you guys want it. She uses children's cough syrup as hairspray. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I would love Maybe to sinister. fucking... I would love to aerosol up some Diamond Tap and spray it in my mouth. That'd every be once cool, in a while. dude. You ever do? Uh, you ever get fucked up off scissor liquid codeine? I did. Yeah, yeah. In college, that shit fucking rules. Yo, let's get some codeine, dude. I DM love us if codeine. you have codeine. I love taking drugs and getting fucked up and driving around. Oh yeah, I remember that part. I've never done that, <laughs> but I've robo tripped. Um, what did I do? Oh, me and Eldis had a fucking time recently, dude. We are really fucking... Today I went to Costco. I'm starting my fucking life over. Yeah. I got veggies. I got fucking chicken <laughs> thighs. my life. Okay, up. I got fucking, you know? <laughs> Shut the fuck up, everyone. Shut the fuck up, all right? It's happening this time. Okay, but recently me and others really went on one, dude. Yeah. Costco is the worst place to go if you're like, yeah, I'm trying to eat healthy. No, it's not. They got fucking. Oh, please. They have like a, a fucking a, bar- a barrel. Wooden I didn't barrel buy any of that with shit. Kirkland brand I didn't cookies. buy any of that shit. I'm sure you will. I will not. Yeah, I got a Costco membership. I got greens, it's, bitch. No, it's pretty cheap produce. Pretty the cheap. produce are cheap. It's a lot of produce, too. The Next thighs, time you guys go, get me one cheap. of those salmon fillets I've been talking about. I yeah. got one. I bought one of those. Get me one of those. I'm going to chop it up. You put it in the freezer. So you what chop I'm doing? it up with power tools. Nope. With power tools. Yeah, that's no. the best way. You use a jigsaw to cut no frozen thanks. fish. Just a regular knife. Nah, you get a you get a scroll saw, and you slide that piece of fish <laughs> right through there. You get real accurate cuts. Oh, because you want thins. You want to make salmon jerky. That's what the samurai do, dude. That's In right. Japan. Oh. Do you, do you have to supply your own stupid outfit when you become a sushi chef in America? Yeah, I think it's like being a drag that, queen. That weird diaper they wear on their head. No, you have to buy it all yourself. Damn. That's why if you're broke as shit, you're just putting pampers on your head. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Getting a lady's kimono and wearing it around. Do you it's know that, sheer. that ramen? You can tell someone's poor because they have a sheer kimono. You can see his dick. Yeah, it's been washed <laughs> too many times. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's a hand-me-down kimono. <laughs> it's the guy making sushi. You see his fucking Japanese-ass dick. <laughs> 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 this is so close to the tuna. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> I had an idea to go down to, you know, one of those Southeast Asian countries as an expat. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You know, like a like a like Thailand a William Holden in, in Bridge on the River Kwai yeah, type yeah, of yeah. character. I go down there and uh, you know, I'm just this you know, swashbuckling Bridge American. I uh-huh. start a restaurant called Ricky's Tiny Chinese Penis, where it's like a tiki bar and all of the waiters are Asian men that have to wear a tux, a white tuxedo from the waist up, and they're completely nude <laughs> from the waist down. And they come up to your table, and they're like, "Oh, please, I am so intimidated by your big American penis. <laughs> <laughs> what, may, what may, will be your order?" And What's it called? Ricky's tiny. Ricky's tiny Chinese penis. <laughs> tiny Chinese. That's that's really good. good. That's good. It rolls off the tongue. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ricky's Ricky tiny Chinese tiny, penis. Ricky's tiny. This is actually Chinese a bit penis. I came up with years ago while eating at a. Chinese restaurant. <laughs> That's good. And looking and at I've a guy's never cock. Forgot it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and asking said, the guy to see his cock. I was eating boo boo <laughs> and, and pulling an old uh, 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 John Travolta trying to fish the waiter's dick out of his pants. <laughs> We're placing the order. <laughs> I like that fucking like as bad as the Harvey Weinstein shit is. It's like John Travolta was doing that to men, and everyone's like, "That's funny." He, well, yeah, yeah, he was trying real. to jack. He off didn't he the, open yeah. his asshole up and made the guy look into it like yeah. a periscope? Yeah, I think so. Oh, Travolta is like a, a rapist. Yeah, yeah, but nobody gives a men. shit. Yeah, because he's you know. Because he's a Scientologist. Italian. And Italian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> all Italians are. That's true. Even the it's gay no ones. Surprise. Even the gay ones rape. Yeah, that's what they do. They put on racing gloves and latex pants and they go around smooching each other and violating boundaries at the massage parlor. <laughs> wow, what's the matter? It's San Gennaro. <laughs> Let me get a little tug. No, I'm not gay. I just want to see if yours is bigger than mine. No offense. No offense. Hey, I'll do whoa. respect. Hey, hey oh, whoa. Hey. whoa. <clears throat> Yo, show me your fucking salich. Come on, let me see your penis. Hey, come on. Hey, let me get a peek. Let me get a little fucking... Hey, let me get a little taste over here. What's that cannoli frosting taste like, pal? You yeah. know? That old that old bag. Let me see that fucking gravy. <laughs> it's nice nice weather here in New York. It's been a nice <laughs> couple of days. Nice little Indian summer. My man Gucci Mane got married. A, Speaking of... A second a second chance to do some late, late in the year cat calling, you mm-hmm. know? Mm-hmm. Yep. That, that summer. Some bike riding. I'm excited to get the I'm bikes do out. Some bike riding. I'm gonna ride fucking tomorrow. I maybe. rode the Bay Ridge. Ooh. You know, went down there. Bitch. <laughs> Man, those Hasidic neighborhoods just suck. They're gross. Yeah. There's like not like all those shops seem like they suck. Yep. Like I can't imagine having to buy shit. From there's like, a Hasidic uh, supermarket not far from here called Supreme. Yeah. Oh fuck. Well, it's yeah, like it's yeah. almost worse than the, they get like confused, the other. You get confused, hype beast. Yeah. They're worse than the other ethnic ghettos. Like you know, like at least a Family Dollar I'm like familiar with. But sure. Like the Hasidic version of Family Dollar. Oh my god. You know the deal. Imagine the de- everything is you give them money. No, it's just filled with bullshit. Yeah, that's most of. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like sorry, salt shakers you that don't include the top, <laughs> like that kind of stuff. Oh, they know how to scam. F- my friends, the, uh, ma- the as seen on TV aisle, where it's like a fork with a knife on the other end, <laughs> like kind of bullshit that nobody wanted. <laughs> that seems pretty um, convenient, actually. Mac- Max was telling me he got his uncle. His uncle was in town, and he got him a hotel in South Williamsburg. Yeah, and he didn't realize it was like a Hasid hotel. Mm-hmm. And he said they checked in the room, and there was a <laughs> there was a picture. <laughs> On the wall, like for art of a clown, <laughs> and it had the plastic wrap and the amount of money that they paid for it <laughs> still on it. <laughs> These fucking savages. That fucking rules. <laughs> what? It's art. Off. We put it a lot on the wall. They're returning yeah, it as soon as the hotel yeah, closes down. <laughs> <laughs> Four years yeah. later. We're done with the clown. Thank you. <laughs> After whatever front that's for, after that's no what? more. We never took the packaging off. There's a place on on Lee that cracks me up every time I see it, where it's like it's supposed to be a Toys R Us knockoff, so it's the same exact font, and it's just Toys for You. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, is Toys R Us still going? Still I think pumping? they went out of business. A couple Damn. Of years ago. All right, yeah. There are allegations against Jeffrey the Giraffe that came out. He put his whole neck in a little girl's pussy. Yeah, yeah. he was doing some unspeakable. <laughs> yeah. He sucked off. Uh, we have to Joe shut down because will. Jeffrey the giraffe put his whole neck in a little girl's pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, everybody. We're insolvent. <laughs> <laughs> 
That would be a cool way for them to go. Huh? <laughs> it really would be, yeah. honestly. You're out of business anyway, yeah. dude. Who gives a fuck? Uh, my name is John Toys. I'm the founder of Toys R Us. And uh, since we're going out of business, I just want to say, fuck the children. <laughs> <laughs> I always hated them. I only I only started this store so I could get a giant Mario. <laughs> remember that? The I do giant remember Mario, that. giant Sonic. I do remember that shit. Back when they didn't have big TVs, so they just stacked like nine shitty small TVs together. Oh yeah. I remember playing Mario on a big ass TV and it just my mind being blown, but big TVs in the no- early 90s just sucked dick oh yeah dude. it was just rear, huge pixels rear projection tv yeah that yeah, would, like yeah. fuck up you know they burn into the screen oh yeah yeah horrible that was that's like like a strong childhood memory is like you'd go to somebody's house you'd be like whoa because they had like some big fucking, screen oh, yeah like kidney infection yellow uh, yes piss, yes you know, sectional sofa and then a fucking tv that you know Look like a transformer. Yeah, their dad's got like the sofa that has the Lazy Boys built in with Ooh, the cup holders. Ooh, with the yeah, cup yeah. holders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good wave, though. I'm, I'm, is, wi- I'm in on that. This is Daddy's throne. My dad loves humongous shit. He just builds like big ass fucking annoying big cabinets. ass things, big ass chairs, enormous sons, sons yeah. <laughs> yeah, morbidly obese sons that have to be greased out of tight situations. Just Look, man, why did people keep fucking putting Kit Kats in the little hallway? Do you know what I mean? Is it my fault? You know what? That I keep trying to get a Kit Kat, we keep putting it in the little hallway. Guys, Sav's on edge because it's Halloween candy season. Yeah, yeah dude, and I'm he's, triggered. He's really trying to turn his life around. Fuck, dude, it's I really need to, man. His- of his new life. I really need to. <laughs> Although I will say I'm in 38, so I'm, I'm out of the 40 club for once in my life, dude. You're in 38. I'm in 38. Mazel once you hit the thing. 30s, dude, I'm at 30. it's smooth sailing from there. Okay? If I could get down to a 36. Nick, what are you, 32? God. Yeah, I wear a 32 waist. I, I've lost, like, I've got, like, space now, though. Ooh. I'm losing weight. Bro, I'm, I'm going to... I'm a 30 fuck. boy. Come, come see me this summer, dude. Dude, eight you. inches, you're, you're Adam Friedland size. I don't want to be your size, dude. I want to be yeah. powerful. I got terribly pants. emasculated on Friday night when I got to Amber's birthday party, <laughs> wasted, and Amber was also drunk, and I said, happy birthday, and she gave me a bear hug and then picked me up yep. off the ground for about like <coughs> five or six and seconds. And then they just passed you around the fucking party. Like a little, like, yeah. like a little raggedy hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're light as shit, dude. The bartender accidentally put you in somebody's cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> Holding a big yeah. ass umbrella. Yeah, you had your umbrella <laughs> with you. <laughs> <laughs> put you in a cocktail. Yep. Is this someone's faggot colada? Yeah, yeah. We need. <laughs> we Do need you the proper. Like, sorry, there's a bug in your <laughs> Long Island iced tea. <laughs> uh, I wish I could have gone to the birthday party. Me too. It was instead. It I was, was in fun. beautiful, sunny Los Angeles. It was a safe space for women. Eating a shitty ass burrito. Mm, sorry to hear it. I was sick as yeah. shit. I let I let Kurt pick where we were eating dinner, mm, and he picked and he the picked frozen aisle. Place. of He a was grocery like, store. Yeah, first of all, it was him and Annie Letterman, and they're like, "Let's go to dinner," and they're both retarded. So like, <laughs> Annie's like, "Just follow me," and then she made like every single unprotected left. Like, if you're familiar with mm-hmm. L.A., you know that there's like the fucking East West streets that right. are, and then going north and south, it's mostly residential streets. With the exception of like big throughways, like you know, I right. guess La Brea or Crescent mm-hmm. or fucking you know any Fairfax of those. or yeah. So she goes, she drives. We're going north south. She drives all through residential neighborhoods. So every time, and then zigzag. So we get to the end of residential street, and then she takes an unprotected left onto some busy. So it's like impossible to fucking follow. Fucking her. bitch. Yeah, and uh, you fucking. And it was bitch, all to go to this Annie. like burrito place that was like completely fucking unspectacular <laughs> the name was los tacos <laughs> can you imagine how fucking lazy of a mexican person you have to be to name your restaurant the tacos yeah 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 <laughs> you know like that uh, that's their language too <clears throat> right you know that'd be like if i'm opening a restaurant it's called you know hot dogs the the sandwich <laughs> yeah try check out the sandwiches <laughs> and it's not even like you know because restaurants do I that now. Do, you know what this weird like deconstruction bullshit where places are like Restaurant, but one of the letters is missing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, I of just, course. I just upgraded. Speaking of tacos, I would I just, honestly, I would eat at the sandwich though. The sandwich, I would eat at the sandwich. It depends it's how probably good got the a big, good sandwiches, yeah. dude. 
I mean, that sounds like some hipster shit. Like, dude, there's this taco place by me. It's literally called El Taco. It yeah. is unbelievable. Damn, I do smell bad. I was hanging out with my fucking father all weekend, and yeah, I think I caught bad. I think I caught Greek body over Yep, that's again. how it works. Yo, my man smells worse than everyone. Have you being around Emmanuel Halkius on a full work day? It's brutal, dude. You could you could hop into his van if he picked you up after school. Yeah, and then it would take two days for the shit to go the the stench to come off of you. Do you remember that Damn. softcore porn? That sounds like a morgue on Cinemax. Yeah. Emmanuel. That's how bad my dad's. Do you remember that one? Yeah, it was about my father. It was about your dad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my dad Emmanuel. She was like in space or something. Ooh, space. Now we're talking. Emmanuel. Sto- softcore porn is a good name for stop. Like implying that his core is soft. <laughs> Softcore <laughs> porn. Yeah. That's every time I make porn, it's softcore, soft baby. <laughs> it's very comfortable. Just lay your titties on my stomach while we fuck. Gross. I think it's hot. Thank you. I think it's disgusting. Again, you know, <laughs> that's yeah, your my opinion that's is check that your it's, privilege, it's check disgusting. your not fat privilege. Okay. I was fat. Nothing until, I am allowed. Until two weeks ah, ago. you're an uncle. You're a fat Uncle Tom, dude. You're just fucking switching on your own people. Yeah. Now that you fucking got skin lightening. You're Michael Jackson, dude. Yeah. You got fucking, you bleached your skin and now you're fucking white. Yeah, dude. Instead, you you lost weight and now you're not fat anymore. Your heart is still fat. Stop. Your with arteries are still clogged, bitch. Actually, okay? not. Yes, it is. No, I got that shit checked. I'm no. fine. No, you're going to die soon, too. Sav was born this way. He I was, was literally I born 300 pounds. I was born. First of all, I'm 262. It's a medical a malady. <clears throat> oh, someone told me rec- uh, yesterday, and this is something that I'm not going to look up, that a, ma- a Chinese businessman got the fourth ever successful penis transplant. He got a black man's penis. Salute. That sounds <laughs> that's fake high, as shit. That's how but I hope it's real. Man. Yeah, yeah. That sounds I, very d- fake. The only part of that that I believe was fake was that it was successful. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I yeah, believe yeah. that the surgery happened, <laughs> that it came from a live donor who was <laughs> not willing. In some sort yeah, of yeah, get yeah, out yeah, situation. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah, yeah the guy's some, just eating a live octopus and cutting right. off a black guy's cock. Some, <laughs> some tribesman that was captured by... <laughs> Chinese SWAT team <laughs> They went through the bush They and just found came the down in helicopters Isn't China heavy. heavy in Africa right now? Like, aren't yeah, they they're really heavily yeah, invested yeah, in yeah, Africa yeah. Yeah. They bought basically Africa in the Damn. last 20 years Yeah Damn, dude This is like a game of Stratego it's And they're buying they one Then they're gonna <laughs> they fucking risk one. Yeah, whatever What's yeah. Stratego? Stratego is a completely different game It's like checkers Where you don't know where the pieces are Isn't it about the world? No Stratego is There's like... There's no map involved in Stratego? The, what Stratego is, is it's chess if you couldn't see the other pieces. Uh-huh. Oh, cool. Yeah. But there's no map, you're uh, telling me. No, not really. Well. No, it's know? like... it's a, Yeah, it's a checkerboard and certain pieces. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Stratego is actually a lot of fun. Problem is, it's only two-player. Mm, but risk. You can't go... You know, two-player board <clears throat> games, those are for children. For lonely children. That's right. Grown-ups, they play things like Catan mm-hmm. and... Uh, yeah, give me that fucking wool, bitch. Yeah. Give me the fucking ore. My cousin had this thing for PS4. Trying to build a road. Which was like everyone can play on their cell phones. Except you. You weren't allowed to play. <laughs> no, I was allowed to play. Yeah, you weren't yeah. allowed to play. And they had like a little Remember, watch Remember, don't let feature. your cousin Adam play because you know he'll become makes? afraid of no, the... No, he let me play. He's afraid of Monopoly. He he'll be play. crying all night. That little dog <laughs> might eat him. He gave He's me... A, and your Adam's bog body <laughs> makes him fear the little dog character and he can't play Monopoly because the thimble scares him. <laughs> if it falls, it'll be trapped. Yeah. Sincerely, get him out. me, Adam's dad. <laughs> what was your guys' go-to piece? Race car, right? <clears throat> I don't remember, dude. Monopoly. Yeah, race I never car. Monopoly. You know, race top car. hat. I thought the top hat was pretty slick. You thought top hat was cool? Yeah, I like that. What, what was I like the shoe race did, car I, was cool. I, I did a shoe bit. I fun. did a bit for Race Wars one time where uh, X Pac was there. Hell yeah! yeah you sick. know, shouts out. And they he had, was in the he was in One Night in China, right? Yes. R.I.P. Joni Lawler. Jesus Christ. Yeah, dude. Just they were like fu- married. Come on, man. Were they? Yeah, they were dating. Shh, the woman is her body is barely <laughs> cold. Anyhow, show I, some respect. I did a bit on, I did a bit on Race Wars where. Uh, uh, X Pac was there, and you I sucked b- off X Pac. Yeah, it was like <laughs> <laughs> no. I played I played somebody that was uh, transracial, uh-huh. you know, and it was like right around the mm-hmm. dole. This whole thing happened, mm-hmm. and I was like, yeah, I go to school for it. That's where I like came up with, you know, I discovered that I was transracial, and X Pac thought it was real. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I just I've always known that I'm I'm 
you know, I was black. I was a brown person. Mm-hmm. I knew it. And, you know, as a kid, we would all play Jeopardy. Other kids wanted to be the race car, the top hat. And mm-hmm. I, I always wanted to play as the dice. <laughs> that was my good line. You said Jeopardy, you meant Monopoly, but it still works. It's a very Damn, good did joke. did I? Yeah. Fuck. Whatever. I wish I was better at saying the words in my head. Yeah, dude. I'm sorry, dude. Monopoly, Jeopardy, you know, they're synonyms. A lot of people don't know that. They end in A synonym is any word that has the same number of... Uh, of uh, parables in it. Parables, yeah. two <laughs> words that have the same number of parables. Those yeah, are, I think that's... Oh, those right. are synonyms. Yep, those are synonyms, all right. Yeah. I'm fucking good as shit at talking. Ooh, fuck. Damn. Look at this Amber's bitch. opening... Uh, she got a sloppy Amber's joe. Amber's opening a sexy sandwich. A big-ass sandwich. I would stick my nuts in that. What is that, a sloppy joe? Kobe beef Damn. and avocado, my dude. So Kobe <laughs> beef, what is that? The black cows? They killed Kobe yeah. Bryant. Oh. They can duck. It's cool. Yeah, it's cows that yeah, can duck. <laughs> he was named after It's the cows that have raped someone in Kobe a Denver beef. Those are the ones that room. make chocolate milk. Am I right? Hey. Hey. Whoa. Yo. Whoa. Whoa. Now who, now who can dunk? <laughs> Me. Take that. Hey. There's other people that are like, Duncan shouldn't be allowed. And the people yeah. that have that stance, yeah. <laughs> they're like, it's disrespectful of basketball. Literally, <laughs> yes. In the fifties, when they first got yeah, black yeah, people in, course. they outlawed dunking because <laughs> of exactly the bit you're doing. <laughs> that fucking it was rules. like black people were just beating integrity. them too much, and they're like, "Nah, you can't do that." <laughs> no, they they literally they expanded the paint area. Because Will Chamberlain was like humiliating too many white men. Yeah, too yeah. many six f- five centers. Yeah. Shout out to Wilt, dude. What a life. He just ruined a Ledge. white person's sport. He's and then he probably like, fucked so many white women and made so many racists to be, mad. To be honest, he's he's lying about having sex with that many women. How much? What's care. the number? Twenty thousand? Yeah, that's a guy. That's be a lie. lie. Right. Do the fucking math on it. Dude, I don't know, man. What? How many? Uh, now I want to know what Three hundred and sixty-five. Someone has done the year. math. Three hundred and sixty-five goes into twenty thousand. Twenty-seven point three know, times. Man. Who fucking cares? So, in that in twenty-seven years, he has to fuck a different woman every day. He could do that. Yeah, I guessed. I'm hoping that number. Yeah. Right. And it has to be it's a different woman. No. I yes, don't know. it has. I don't yes, it has to be a different woman. Stop. Yes, that's what twenty thousand means. Okay, fine. All right, fuck. I wish I was like one of those. Indian Did he say kids. twenty thousand women or twenty thousand yes. times? So fuck. okay, so if Wilt Chamberlain started at age fifteen, from then up to the age of fifty-five, when he, the book was published and he made the claim, he would have had forty years to sleep with twenty thousand women. It's fifty-four. Fifty-four years to sleep twenty thousand. No, 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 but they're saying the book he came out when he was book. 55, and assuming he started having sex at 15. Okay, 20,000 divided so that's by 40 years. 365 so that would have to be- is 54.79. So he would have had to start fucking Wait, at what? age one. No, no, no. no that no, means no. a woman every day. Okay, uh, yeah, but my head hurts, this dude. says if he started at 15, and then he had sex up to through that from then till 55, which is, what's that, 40 years? Yeah. yeah. Then he would have had 40 years to sleep with 20,000 women or 500 women a year, which breaks down to 1.4 yeah. women a day. Also, it's like, so he, he probably one. had, dude, you he know probably how had mag- a couple orgies where there's 20 bitches in you the You know mix? How, many, how meticulous yeah, like, record you would have to keep? To- You're right. He's probably throwing a, a number out there. Uh, probably 10,000. There's though. nobody that's even jacked off that much. No. 20,000 times? 20,000 times. 20,000 times? No. That means more than you once a day. You don't think you've jacked That's for every day of your fucking life. We all put up numbers from ages 13 to fucking 15. Here. Yeah, I'm but saying, you're like, talking I'm... max like four times a day here and there. Yeah. Okay. You know? Okay. He's a fucking liar. You don't think in a lifetime you'll beat off 20K? No, I won't. I really don't think that I'll hit that fucking number. I probably beat off 100 times a year at the most. Wow. Let's see here. I guess I go th- I go through stretches where I don't beat off and I beat off a lot. Just accept the numbers stuff, Rose. You're not as powerful as you thought you were. You're right, man. Numbers don't lie, you know? I don't you know what? I really don't like how much I don't understand numbers. Yeah. It makes me upset. I was really I hoping, wish I knew numbers. I was really better. hoping I was gonna nail that math. I wish I had that kind of autism. Yeah, you got where joke people just autism. say two two numbers. I don't even really have autism. I'm just sort of a piece of shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like your brain does work. You get into this zone where you can't help but say things, and I feel like that's... That's not autism. If anything, that's Tourette's. Maybe. You ever see that, that documentary uh, uh, the, about the teenage Tourette's camp? 
That might no. be the name. It's fucking hilarious. It's these like British teenagers that all have Tourette's that are in like a school for yeah, Tourette's yeah, kids. Yeah. And like, you know, they all have Tourette's. So they're all fucking mean as shit. Like they're on the bus and there's this fat girl. And then there's this like meek autistic kid, like, or, you know, Tourette's kid, like four seats behind her. And he's like, Jen's fat. <laughs> Jen is fat. Jen's fat. You know, and she's just like humiliated, trying to like not. He's like, sorry, Jen's fat. Jen's fat. <laughs> he can't help himself. Yeah, he, he literally can't. Himself. And they come to America, and then while they're in America, one of them's like, mm, Twin Towers, Twin Towers, <laughs> <laughs> Twin Towers, nine eleven, Twin Towers. You know. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. That's actually really funny, dude. It's great. I might have to rewatch that shit. Teenage Tourette's camp, and then there's another one about this. Uh, these British kids that have. A disease where they can't stop eating. And I think the name of that might be can't stop Oh, yeah. Eating. Yeah, I've seen that one. Yeah, with yeah. the fat kid that looks just like Stav. <laughs> except he has hair, so Definitely he's more attractive. Not. He does not, he's yeah. not as cute as me. And he's, like, and he's obsessed with girls, you know? <laughs> he's like, oh, Sarah wants to go out with me. Tell a joke called <laughs> to go out with her. And it's like, Sarah has called off the date after seeing a picture of Joe in the newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. No, Joe, you fat fuck. I'm sorry, brother. Yeah, that happens to you all the no, time, dude. No, it never happens. Girls see your picture in the newspaper. Yeah, fuck. After agreeing. I gotta stop fucking... Yeah. I gotta uh, stop posting my shit on the World's newspaper. most stuck in hallway man. <laughs> stuck in hallway again. Yo, I'm way cuter than this mother. This red-faced goon. No, you look just like him. Nah, dude. No chance. He's got those weird... Titties that like are wide as shit. Sav has the good titties. I do the have the good titties. Thank you. I have the prime fat man's body. You know? Describe it. Little titties, powerful haunches. Yeah, a little bit of a stomach, sure. You know? But very muscular legs. But broad shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Soft skin. Yeah. None of that pesky hair getting in the way of things. It's cleaner this way. <laughs> I choose to cut my hair short. Smooth. It's smooth. Round. Round. He's a smooth, round kind of guy. That's your Native American name. Yo, so I'm like a week out from the new Blade Runner. Fuck that movie. You say fuck it. It's no. Yeah, I just don't. Now that I'm like I've had time away from it, it's like I took nothing away from that, that film. I heard it was boring. It's, I mean, it's just not boring enough that you don't get pissed off sitting through three hours of it, mm -hmm. but it's like, yeah, you know what? It is fucking boring. It reminded me, it was a lot like episode one, but like George Lucas's fuck ups are so apparent and stupid. Mm -hmm. Right. They're just goofy mm -hmm. that you just don't like care. Actually, you know what? It's more like episode two. Episode two was a piece of shit. Yeah, like, right. Wait, which where it's like, episode? here's a plot, things happen, you don't the really care. Attack of the Clones. You're not invested in it, you know, it's just, yeah, yeah it sucked. It was all right. You said episode know. two was, was okay? I don't fucking know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't expect anything from Star Wars movies. I just want to have an okay time. That was the intro of Jar Jar, right? Was it? I thought he was in the first he one. He was in the first one. Oh, yeah, oh. He, was in the he was in the first three, I think. He becomes like a senator. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's Al Franken. Senator Binks. <laughs> senator Binks, bitch. Uh, you know fucking Jar Jar was getting fucking... Did anyone call deals. Obama O Jar Jar? I'm sure. That would have been... Cool. That would have been funny if that was the big one. There's definitely some kind of Jar Jar Obama stuff out there. Enough racist people love Star Wars. What Did you know that his original name was Najar Jar? Nuh-uh. Yeah. yeah. Shut up. I, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, spelled. How yeah. is it spelled? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody had to tell George Lucas he couldn't name him Najar Jar. <laughs> Do people black call wife. that guy uh, 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 Jahar Jar uh, Sarnayev? That's good. Yeah. Yeah. How about a movie uh, Jake Gyllenhaal stars in Jar Jar Head? Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know, and he's a Marine that wears the Jar Jar Binks mask. That's good. During the Gulf War. And what everyone's was like, what the about? fuck is that? And he's a like, Marine. It's a movie that's coming out in like 10 Mi years. Misa yeah. want to kill brown people. Jake J Jar Mi Gyllenhaal. Misa want to commit war crimes on behalf of <laughs> the Bush family. Is that how, about, how about Jar Jar word, you know? Don't oh, say yeah. the Jar word. What's the Jar word? The R word. Jar oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Jar tarded. Rejarded. <laughs> <laughs>
Wow, what would a retarded Jar Jar Binks be? You have to understand, be? Jar Jar can't help himself. He's retarded. <laughs> He's mentally retarded. Did you see the, <laughs> the Ayatollah called Trump mentally retarded? That's yeah, a pretty yeah. hilarious burn. No, he had. Well, he had. There was a t- the Ayatollah. I Khomeini, remember that yeah. tweet, but he deleted they it. They deleted it, but fucking Ayatollah Khomeini wrote fucking uh, uh, because s- someone in like he he was criticizing free speech where he says. Uh, in Iran, we don't have such retarded ideas like we do with free speech <laughs> in your country. And then the comments are filled with Americans saying, you're not allowed to say that. Incredible. <laughs> and it's like, this is a perfect world. That we're is in. beautiful. Yeah, check people your fucking, privilege. They're, they're, yeah, um, right. Ableist? The complaint against the fucking, you know. <laughs> the Ayatollah. Ayatollah. Who's saying we don't have free speech because it's dumb as shit. Yeah, and they're <laughs> saying you're not allowed to say that. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go fucking hunt homosexuals. <laughs> How about the Gayatola, you know? And he's Ooh. it's guys only. A guys only. Gayatola yeah. whole mani. <laughs> Guy's Guy getting Atola his asshole whole mania now. Whole <laughs> I got whole mania, dude. <laughs> Yo, you I'm a guy, yeah. the guy Bala whole mania. If there's a if there's a if there's a gay Ar- Ar- Arabic dude that wants to fucking do a Mia Khalifa and make everyone mad and shit, become yeah. Gayatola whole mania. That would be pretty fucking <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> and just do gay porn as the Ayatollah. Yeah, Gayatola Gai- whole rape me. <laughs> oh, here we go again. Adam's making rape jokes again. <coughs> Jesus, Sorry, Adam. Sorry, guys. How to Stop do throwing your time. voice. Yeah. Stop throwing your voice to normal masculine levels <laughs> from your from your little bug <laughs> castle where you have a megaphone set up. <laughs> a series a of castle. little megaphones yeah. slightly a, getting bigger. In a bug synagogue <laughs> castle. <laughs> from your, from your, your, your balcony, you have a big horn set up that you speak through. Um. Is this seamless? I would like to place an order. <laughs> Your oh fuck, man! So I did some hockey's home improvement. The hole in the oh, ceiling. Yeah. What happened to that hole? The hole in the ceiling has been. We put a little fucking drywall over it. We spackled over it. You know, real fucking bullshit job. That's gonna probably. There's gonna be another flood soon, but it looks so, okay well, for now. I don't understand structurally what the did hole you paint? was. Um, it was a hole. The siding of the house came no, off. No, no, the ceiling from, from the, the ceiling. roof. From the roof. From oh, the roof. Okay. There was a leak. Now, do you have to put more flashing up there, or retar the roof, or? <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. No, my dad just fucking put a little drywall up there. Yeah, it's spackled not, over. The drywall is just gonna soak through and fall out. Listen, again. no one is arguing with you. But that's 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 yeah. He's got to fix the roof. That's dude. Emmanuel Howell. What, width, what width drywall did you use? I don't fucking know, dude. I ought, you were you know you could have come but you five had to be in Los Angeles. It has to be five eighths. Can't use anything less than five eighths for ceilings. Yep. I'm sure it was five eighths then. I don't know. It looked pretty standard. It was fucking annoying. My dad smelled bad. He what didn't kind finish of shoes the job. Was, were you wearing? Was it OSHA? Huh? Were you wearing uh, steel toe boots? Yeah, everyone was wearing steel toe boots. That's what I like to hear. <coughs> yeah. We we cleaned out some other shit. We found some mice skeletons around. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck's going on. My they parents were a are family. Hoarders. They yeah. moved to America with you guys in gr- from <laughs> yeah. Greece. Stop's family has the uh, the we, owl diet. We found some old lacrosse gloves from a Stop Stop actually sucks up rodents and mice and then throws up their bones. That's how he eats. <laughs> in like pellets? Yeah, he's starting his life over, dude. Do you remember? He's been, he's been sucking I've been up. eating nothing but fucking rodents, dude. Yeah. I'm on that new paleo shit. What if I started my life over but I became one of those snake guys? That would be a mean? cool the way The winter do it. snake guy? You don't see that. No, I just kill don't. the snake. I would not be surprised <laughs> if you fucking had a buy snake. a new a new boa constrictor every month and fucking <laughs> take it out in the blizzard in New York and it just dies. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Peter would love that, you right? You should do that. The guy that just keeps killing snakes so he can look cool in the winter. <laughs> <laughs> you try to wear him as a scarf? Yeah. That's not bad. Fuck, dude. So um, it was Gucci Man's wedding. We didn't talk about that. He yeah, we did. One point seven mil for a wedding. He cut a he cut cake, he cut with, a cake sword. with a sword. You, you know, know that's rules. really not a lot of money. One point seven for a wedding for a celebrity. One point seven is a lot for a wedding for a celebrity wedding. Yeah, you no. don't think that's a lot of money? No, dude. Kim Kardashian and uh, well, you know that, that idiot that yeah, she How married. How dare you? That imbecile. <laughs> Their wedding cost four point six billion dollars. Whoa, <laughs> really? Yep. Mm-hmm. I heard well, it, they on, cut I heard it on the Breakfast the Club. Did they cut a sword with a cake? Yeah, a they cut a sword. sword with a cake. 
Shut up, dude. Uh, how about you shut up, rethink your words, and speak once <laughs> your mental yeah. fucking retarded no, brain I don't want is to. processed. How about that? What's going on shut inside up. of it? I need a cracker. I can feel my blood sugar getting fucked up. Yeah, Nick, you're not eating till 2 p.m.? I eat from 2 to 10. Oh, is that thing you think you're doing? Lean gains, bitch. It's not the new thing. I've been doing it for months. You don't eat? Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah, I do IF. In I do IF and I carb cycle and I got to recalculate. I've, I've, Adam the last beats week off in a I've test been, tube and puts it in your ass. Mm-hmm. No, no, there's we're, no tap. My ass is actually so sealed. stop. We're not shit anymore. We're I've, trying I've, to be. I've, we're trying to get pregnant. <laughs> 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 if you guys had a child, men, I love when the men include themselves. In yeah, that. yeah, we're pregnant. Yeah, it's like shut up, dude. Mm-hmm. You're not he pregnant. is pregnant, man. He's sharing the pain of yeah, his partner. Yeah, people that say things are fucking stupid. He's sharing the pain of his partner, dude. If you say things that other people say. Because you heard it somewhere, you're a fucking moron. Yeah. <laughs> you're not allowed to learn any facts. Yeah. <laughs> Create your own language. <laughs> you got to come up with your own damn way to fucking say every <laughs> sentence. If you re- if you repeat, you know, fucking turns of phrase or whatever, mm-hmm. you're a, you're a, you're copying. A, you're a dip dip monger. Ooh, you fuck. Know? How's that? Ass yeah. clown. Ass, wow, clown. ass clown. A lot of people I say love ass people who say ass clown. Ass clown. You guys, oh, that, that's like a little homophobic clowns. connotation. Right? I guess the ones people are real big on, like piss baby. That one, that one. Every anybody who says piss baby thinks they're really fucking cool and they're a total <coughs> fucking loser. Garbage person. That yeah, gar. That is out. out of control. Yeah, calling people garbage things or calling me garbage things. No, call Adam whatever you want. Yeah, Adam lives at the bottom of the garbage can with the other bugs. <laughs> His journey to the top. Hoping for a big piece of cardboard so you can climb out. Adam, if we can get to the canopy, we might be able to get enough of of sun. I'm just imagining the plot to land before time. (laughs) They're bugs. What happened in Land Before Time? They have to race the it's meteor. It's like baby dinosaurs. dinosaurs. Yeah, that their parents are gone or something. They're gonna try to find. Do those do those movies ever deal with extinction? Yeah. Does everyone die at the end? That would be cool. That'd be fucking tight. Uh, if Thumper dies, is there is there a dinosaur Thumper? Thumper was uh, yeah, I know Bambi's Bambi. rabbit. There's got to be one that's basically Thumper. Bambi was depressing. Bambi's yeah, the mom Bambi's gets got mom right got off top. Fucking murked. Then Bambi's a guy's name. Headshot. That's pretty sus, Bambi. Oh yeah, change Bambi your name was to Bambino. A guy. Ooh, what if he's Italian? It's Bambino. Was Dumbo a guy or a girl? Dumbo's a guy. He wears a hat. Women don't wear hats. <laughs> <laughs> no, this actually was the truth up until like 1950. Women, Women weren't allowed to wear hats? Oh, absolutely not. <laughs> absolutely not. And boys weren't allowed to wear pants. Yeah, not in Adam's household. No. Nope. They stayed nude constantly. Yep. <laughs> no, they, were, they had to wear they shorts. Said, where are my boys? Where are my pantsless boys <laughs> that I requested? Adam, you look good, Adam. <laughs> Stay on that pedestal. Fuck, for our guests. I was going to mention that I... We're talking about swords, snake eyes. I hate it when this fucking happens. Uh, Niger, probably. No, something about eating. Yeah, it was Niger. What happened in Niger? There was no an o- o- ISIS attack. I think there was some kind of like, uh, the Benghazi that happened in there. Yeah, it's the new Benghazi. It's pretty crazy that Donald Trump said he would like stop ISIS, and then he did. <laughs> he did it. I mean, ISIS is gone. What are you talking They're about? They're not gone. ISIS is gone. They're done. What do you mean ISIS is done? Haven't you paid attention? ISIS is like literally done. They don't exist anymore. <laughs> no, they do. Because Donald do. Trump said, he said, uh, give me eight months, I'll take care of ISIS. Damn, really? Yep, and they're gone. Good for you. Anybody wow. that knows anything knows that ISIS I didn't is know gone. know that. Good for, well, you know what? Maybe, maybe we were wrong about him. Yeah. Maybe he's a good guy. Maybe he is. Uh, well, that's probably going to have to do it for the episode. Um, oh, we got um, the show tomorrow. Right. Yeah, our show's tomorrow night. At nine, and come on, everybody. Mm-hmm. I can't remember what the fuck I wanted the fucking goddamn. I hate when this fucking shit happens. What was it about? I can't remember, dude. And it's because <clears throat> I, I need a cracker or something or a fucking pretzel. You want some sunflower? Remember, seeds? there was this diabetic kid that would come to the pool, and he always had to have a fucking bag of pretzels, and I'm because you know he had diabetes. Mm-hmm. I remember being like, man, I wish I had diabetes. As <laughs> <laughs> like get snacks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wish I had fucking. I remember how diabetes and there was a machine stabbed into my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I heard 
ice cream. You get your I- your tonsils taken out. You get to eat yeah, ice cream. Ice cream. <laughs> I was like, yo, take my fucking tonsils out. I was like, my tonsils hurt, mom. <laughs> I had no idea what they were. <laughs> I was trying to get. I just wanted that month of eating ice cream, dude. Yeah, uh, yeah, that rules. What Fuck. are tonsils? They're like the. They're like sort of like balls. They're like nut sack. They you make have your, in your they make the man's penis feel good when it's in your mouth, Adam. Yeah. No, I don't have they tonsils. Have I got my tonsils removed. By the pain. Uh, they got, for, they got for more they space got to suck so I can yeah. so I can deep. They got attached to the guy's throat. Prince Albert kid, piercing. I got it. <laughs> <ripped out. laughs> he had a little fucking uh, trident. Who was cock Prince piercing. Albert? How? Where'd that come from? We, we talked about this before. Who was Prince Albert? He was some good. He was a wrestler. Guy that's like I'm gonna get my cock pierced. Remember yeah. Albert the wrestler? And his no. whole thing was, he, I think that he had a cock piercing. He was with Test TNA. Zach, Test Zach, uh, what's his name? And, Not uh, Zach Efron, the guy Amico. we're friends with. Amico, he has a Prince yeah. Albert? He has, yeah, he has a dick piercing. He has a strangely fucked up dick. Yeah, because he puts it in mouse traps and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He like the top dick. of his dick looks like, you yeah. know when like a pork chop starts to go bad? That's the color his dick is. It's like gray. Yeah, and he green. like he does Ew. that. It shows. So like fucking, he ends the roast battle by like getting his dick snapped shut in a fucking rat trap. <laughs> Why? I don't know. And the response from the audience is always, "Oh, yeah, it's fucked it's up. never like, woo, <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, nobody like thinks it's cool. Funny. I don't know. That's something like literally should only happen in the privacy of your own home. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> there is no fucking reason to do that. Absolutely not. You know. <clears throat> so you're gonna think of that thing or no? You think? Nah, I don't think so. Oh, also, fuck Facebook. They banned Marsha Belsky. Oh yeah, that That's is bullshit. such fucking horseshit. For what? She, she said d- men are scum. She said men on are a scum. post where a woman posted men threatening to kill and rape her. Yeah, and she wrote men are scum, and they banned Marsha for well responding to fucking rape and death threats. Yeah. Well, the, thing, the reason that happens is that. Yeah, yeah. the reason that happens is because there's people that fucking hate Marsha that report I guarantee everything. you report yeah, yeah. absolutely everything she fucking does and yeah. then all of these dickless companies have to like balance After they get certain threshold. They pretend they Marcia? pretend like they uh well you. Yeah, you just you for sure cuz she's Feminist? stronger than you and yeah. she beat you up. <laughs> she she's could beat you up. Than me, of yeah. Course, but that doesn't make me <laughs> she's hate more masculine than you. She's not. What do you mean you hate her? She's just talking about you know, sex is shit all the time. So just fucking yeah. Because she, she does talks the, about sexism, not because she does the yeah, kill yeah, all yeah. men thing or whatever. Yeah, 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 so yeah. The, it's like they, the they inverse, can't take a fucking joke. It's the inverse of people who hate us, I guess. Yeah. You know. Right. Which is not outright like you know men's rights guys, but people that are like, well, but I'll come never allowed to say that, but I can't say kill all women, and it's like mm. you can. You're just gonna get banned from Facebook. That's like because spiteful people will fucking report you. Yeah. But it's the, I mean, the problem is Facebook and Twitter and all that shit. Will you, though? Will you get banned as much? Probably not. um, Or kill all women? Of course you'll get banned. You're probably You'll get banned if people don't like you and they repeat all your shit. Right, exactly, exactly. That's what I mean. Will it draw the kind of same ire that, I mean, probably now it would. It just depends on who you are. But the point is, is that, again, these companies, like, just, they're only concerned with fucking playing both sides and making themselves seem fair, so they arbitrarily just ban people for points. Right, right, right. You know, so fuck them. Yeah, fuck Fuck Facebook. Facebook. Fucking pricks. And also, also, if someone's having a nervous breakdown on the internet about us, guys, you don't have to... You don't have to make fun of them. Yeah, but us. Adam does have to draw attention to it. And you know exactly what we're talking about. So good job acknowledging it on the show, dude. Didn't we <laughs> have cool of you to direct people to harass her? You're doing it right now. I'm not directing anything. I'm yes, saying don't. I know you have a bunch of fake accounts on Twitter where you <laughs> yeah. go and you threaten to rape these women that criticize us. I know you do it. <laughs> I don't think he does, guys. <laughs> All right, so yeah, come to the fucking show. Either. Come to the show. Threaten Adam. Yes, please. The show's tomorrow. Come on, everybody. We got fucking Scott Chaplin. We got Kevin Barnett. We got Julia Clare. Probably somebody else. I don't uh, know. I don't know any of those people. They're good guys. You know some of them. No, Kevin choosing. Barnett is the... I know all of them. Yeah. <laughs> you know Scott. Yeah. <laughs> he knows all of them, you fucking dunce. Yeah. yeah. Um, <clears throat> yes. So that's that's that, boys and guys. Yeah, good one tomorrow night. I hope to see you guys there. Yep. Uh, thanks, everybody. Bye.